This is a full body muscle building kind of workout. We are working hypertrophy today, so make sure you have got your heavy dumbbells ready. Join me for our warm up and let's do this. We've got 40 minutes together, so let's go ahead and get into our first warm up exercise, which is a sumo squat to calf raise and reach. So, taking your legs out, toes turned out, we're gonna take it down. And then as we come up, we're gonna reach high, lift up onto the toes, and then down and reach. Down. So as I mentioned, this is a heavy lift day. So make sure as we go through our exercises that you've got that heavy weight. That's gonna help us maximize our time today and really strengthen and define our muscles. Last one. And reach, bring the feet together. We're gonna go to knee pulls, warming up through the hips and the hamstrings. So pull it up, tuck it in, and then switch. The structure for today's workout. We have three rounds. In each round, we're gonna have three exer or four exercises that we will work through three times. That's gonna be in a vertical loading fashion. So we're gonna work down the list of exercises, get through the four, repeat them. And then work timer on for 45, rest for 20. In between rounds, we've got 30 seconds to rest. One more pull here. Good, now we're gonna switch it up, taking that heel towards the bum, holding on here. Getting the muscles warm, getting the joints warm. Good. Couple more, then we're gonna start warming up the upper body a little bit more. Here's two. And one. We're gonna reach up, and as we pull, we're gonna pull down wide here with the arms. And then reach back up, pull towards the sky, and pull. Feel this through the arms, through the shoulders, through the back through the chest even a little bit here. Reach it up and pull. Two more. Here's two. And one. Staggered good mornings. So we'll work one on each side. Take one leg out a little farther than the other. Weight stays in this leg that's back. Hands on your hips. We're gonna drive the hips back, slight bend in the knee, and then squeeze up. Down, drive those hips back. And up. And up. Two more, then we'll switch sides. Last one. Good, up, switch it up, other side, leg out. Weight stays on this leg here. Hands on hips, drive the hips back. I can always feel my tighter side right from the beginning. <laughs> this side is always a little bit tighter, you'll notice that. So that's why it's awesome to go through the warm up just to get the muscles warm, and then you can, you can kind of anticipate things throughout the workout as well. And it helps to loosen things up so you'll be able to get that full range of motion as we go. Down, one more, and then I'll explain the exercises. We'll get right into it. So the first exercises in this first round, we have an Arnold press, rear delt flies, squat, and Romanian deadlift. So grab your dumbbells for Arnold press, and let's do this. Remember, working heavy. So arms up, we go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Now keep in mind, three sets. You might start a little lighter, try to build heavier as you go through, or try to maintain the same weight throughout these three sets while keeping good form, taking your time. When we lift heavy, you can see the pace slows right down. So you really have to stay focused, go slow. Exhale as you press. Ooh, good. Rear delt flies are next. We're gonna get a quick 20 seconds, just enough time to switch, breathe for a second. Here's three, two, one. Rear delt flies. Grab your dumbbells. You can always do this seated as well. That'll take a little bit of the, I don't wanna say strain, but it'll help take some of the core workout so you can really focus on those rear delts. So hinge it over and let's begin. Exhale as you lift. Keeping a slight bend as you lift those arms up to fly. 
That rear deltoid is part of your shoulder complex, but it is a very small muscle. So this is a challenging exercise, even with light weight here. Well, I guess I should, it's not light when we're lifting it with this exercise, but light compared to some of our other exercises. Breathing, we're gonna switch gears. Hit the lower body for these next two exercises. Here's three, two, one. Whew. Switching it up, squat now. So go heavy, remember. Shoulders are gonna be, shoulders. <laughs> Dumbbells are gonna be up on your shoulders. So bring it up, five seconds out. Here we go, here's three, two, and one. Squat it out. And squeeze. Now if you've joined me for the last eight weeks during Sweet Summer Sweat, you know we had shorter strength sessions. We're bumping up the time today, so it is gonna be tough with our three sets, but you got this. You're gonna be stronger because of it. Over halfway, down, press through those heels, keep that chest up, switching gears a little bit, getting ready for our next program that starts in September. Breathing. That program's name is incredible, by the way. So keep your eyes out for that. Super excited for that. Here's three, two, one. Whew. Switching it up now, Romanian deadlift. Adjust weight if you need to. Shoulders rolled down and back. We'll go in 10 seconds with Romanian deadlift. Slight bend in the knees. Shoulder width or a little wider with your feet. And drive the hips back. Let's begin. Take it down nice and slow. And then squeeze up. Make sure you're not going too low and starting to round or arch your back. You just feel that little stretch there in the hamstrings. Stop it there. Then contract, squeeze that backside to bring yourself back up to starting. Whew. Almost there. Then we're going to switch it back to those two upper body moves. Here we are. Three, two, and one. Nice. Oh. All right. So try to keep that same weight you've been working with the whole time. Back to Arnold press. You're going to see with this workout, we hit everything. All the major muscle groups, we got them today. Five seconds out. Bring it up. Going in three, two, and let's go. Press. Just to make mention of my stance, I'm taking a staggered stance right now. I feel like when I'm lifting heavy for shoulders, this gives me the most power, it gives me the most leverage, and this is where I feel most confident with this position. However, if you feel more comfortable in a wider stance, you can definitely take that as well. Just make sure that low back isn't rounding or arching. You've got to keep that solid core. You've got the two options. That goes for pretty much any exercise we work through. This is always your training session, so make it work for you. Here's three, two, one. Rear delt flies. Whew. All right. Again, you can do this seated. You'll just hinge at the hips, bringing that chest down towards your legs. Shoulders rolled down and back. Let's drop it down. Drive those hips back. Three, two, and one. Exhale as you lift. Keep that good posture. Think about sticking that chest out down towards the ground. Almost there. Gonna move back to lower body here in three, two, and one. Ooh. Nice. Back to squat, then Romanian deadlift. All right, 
Bring those dumbbells up on your shoulders. Going in three, two, and let's go. Drop it down. Still taking our time, working through that full range. Halfway. Oh, you got it. This is getting tough. Keep it strong, come on. Almost there. Three, two, one. Romanian deadlift. Grab a drink, dry off if you need it. Stretch it out for a second. Sometimes when we're lifting heavy, in between especially the leg sets, you might need to let your hands have a little bit of a break. <sighs> let's grab it, let's get ready. Romanian deadlift, shoulders roll down and back. Before we even go, stick that chest out and let's go. Keep those dumbbells close to your legs. Weight is in the heels and squeeze. Now with that set about the, your hands, you might need to give them a little shake out in between. Always make sure you're not over gripping the weight. So right now, dumbbells just hanging in the fingertips here. We don't need to squeeze the bar to hold on to it. And wrists are also staying straight. So a couple things to keep in mind. One more time through all these exercises. We've got five left here. Here's three, two, and one. Nice. All right, last set. It's getting tough. Try to stick with the same weight. If you can go up, challenge yourself for this last round, really push it. I'm telling you, this is gonna help you build that strength and the definition from head to toe here. Arnold press, here we go in three. Two, and one. Now, as I say, always make this your workout. Couple things you can do if we're on this last set and you're finding it super challenging to get through. Take it alternating arms. Work one arm, bring it down, work the other arm. So you can always work that way to try to modify. It takes a little bit of the intensity out to help you finish the set. And then you can always drop the weight if needed. What is Stella doing today? Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Almost there. Oh. Three, two, come on, one. Nice, Whew. breathe. Rear delt flies. Grab those dumbbells. Let's get ready. Shoulders rolled back. Drive the hips back, hinge here at the hips, slight bend in the knees. Slight bend in elbows, we take it out in three, two, let's fly. Good. Exhale as you lift. Make sure as you lift, you're not just popping the weights up. Control them as you lift, control them down. I know this one is tough. That's why I drop it down pretty low. I'm dropped down to 10 pounds here for this one. I remember when I started this, five was my number. It took me a while even to build up to 10. Breathing. Whew. Here's three, here's two, and one. Back to squat. Now we're moving on to squats. Let's get them. Where are we? Here we are. Ooh. Good. Bring it up onto the shoulders for squats. Five seconds. Three, two, here we go. Squat it down. Come on, take your time. Drop it low and squeeze up. You will get more out of five solid, full range, going heavy reps today than you will if you're going light and you're just going through the motion, not dropping it down as low as your full range allows, not bringing it all the way up to stand. So take your time and lift heavy.
Good. Almost there. Romanian deadlifts next. Here's three, two, and one. Oh, man. Breathing. All right, Romanian deadlifts. 10 seconds. Let's get our dumbbells. Let's get ready. Shoulders rolled down and back. Here we go in three, two, and one. Let's go. that form. Remember that back. Keep it strong. We're so close. We're going to get a long break after this. A well-deserved break. Well, I mean, 30 seconds, but I'm telling you that 10 extra seconds is going to be amazing. Whew. Here's three, two, and a one. Awesome. All right, let's talk about it. Circuit two. Grab your drink. Dry off if you need it. Circuit two. We're starting strong. Sumo squat. Reverse lunges. If lunges bother your knees, we're gonna do a squat to alternating leg lift. You'll see that modification on screen. Then we have a, a chest press followed by skull crushers. So grab your weights or weight, one heavy in the center if you wanna do it that way for sumo squats and let's get ready to go. Take those legs out. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go, drop it down and squeeze. Usually I like to lift with one heavy dumbbell in the middle, but I've been doing that pretty often, so I wanna mix it up today and have my dumbbells on each side. But if you are working on building your weight set up to heavier weights, this is a great option to have the heaviest you've got on each side, instead of keeping one heavy in the center. Down and squeeze. Ooh, reverse lunges are gonna be next. Keep the weight in the heels. Think about squeezing those inner thighs down and up. Here we are. Here's three, two, one. Awesome. All right. Reverse lunges. Now, alternating sides. If reverse lunges bother your knees, then you have got a squat with leg lift. Whew. Five seconds out. Here's three, two, and one. Take it back. Again, working heavy, so you gotta take your time here. Keep that chest up. I've got just a slight hinge forward here with this reverse lunge. Sometimes we'll take that hinge a little bit deeper to work the glutes, but right now, just more of a, a neutral stance with this, just a slight hinge at the hips. Bringing that chest forward, but keeping it straight. Now you can tap the knee on the ground if you like. I like to do that to keep, so I know that I'm being consistent with my drop, but you don't have to drop your knee down. Almost there, last three, two, one. Chest press and then skull crushers. I'm gonna have both my dumbbells ready for that since we'll be on the ground for both of those. Remember, go heavy. Chest press is for the chest. Skull crushers for the triceps. Lower it back, chest press first. Going in three, two, and one. Exhale as you lift. Take a little peek here at your wrist. Make sure your wrists are staying straight. You're not letting those dumbbells pull your hands back towards your head. Think about punching the ceiling here. So press it up. Down. Whew. Good, and press. 10 seconds out, then we've got skull crushers. Three, two, and one. Nice, dumbbells down. Going into skull crushers. Now you can have one dumbbell holding onto the ends of your dumbbell or two. I'm gonna go with two for this one just because I want to get that Extra little bit down by my ears. I feel like it gives me a slightly better range of motion. Up with the dumbbells, just hinging at the elbow. Here we go, so drop it down. 
and press. Take your time, press it up. Exhale as you press up. Whew. Good. Down. Come on, you got it. Tighten up, tightening up the back of the arm with this one. Almost there. Here we are. Three, two, one. Nice. Going back. Bring it up, sumo squat. Keep those dumbbells nearby, though. All right, sumo squat. Get your dumbbell or dumbbell. Take it out. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Down and up. Keep your chest up. Woo. Starting the second time through all these exercises. Sumo squat is one of my favorite lower body exercises. I just love how you can hit so many muscles with one little exercise. It's awesome. Don't get me wrong, I love isolation moves too. Breathe, come on down and up, almost there. Remember reverse lunge or that modification of squat with leg lift next in three, two, and one. That was my time. Three, two, and one. We got it. Reverse lunge or squat with alternating leg lift. 10 seconds out. Whew, breathing. Let's get those shoulders rolled down and back so I don't ever start an exercise like this. Roll them back and let's go. Here we go. Take it back and up. Breathing over halfway. We're gonna move it to that upper body next. Oh, you got this. Can you feel the strength building already? There might be some shake, but you got this. Here's three, two, one. Chest press, bring it down. Roll it onto that back. Whew. All right, arms out, legs down. Going in three, two, and let's press. Whew. Now think about this exercise here. Chest muscles, powerful, big muscle group. You can lift heavy. So you're gonna have one more chance at this exercise. One more chance at all four of these, by the way. So if you can go heavier for this last set, I want you to start bringing your mind to that point right, right here, right now. You got it. Whew, golly. A lot of breathing, a lot of wooing today. Gotta get through somehow. Here's three, two, and one. Whew. Skull crushers. All right, adjust your dumbbells, roll it back. Now remember with the skull crusher, only bend at the elbow. So don't let your arms from the shoulders fall forward or back. Stay straight up here, wrists are straight, and let's begin. Drop it down and up. Breathe. Oof. Come on, stay strong. We're gonna move back to the lower body next. We've got just about 10 seconds. Down and up. Wow. 
three, two, and one. Breathing. All right, back to it. Last time through, remember what we just talked about. If you can go a little bit heavier, get it up there and let's go. Sumo squat, take it out. Five seconds and we go. Here's three, two, and one. Down, squeeze. Good, keep that chest up. I know sometimes when we got three sets, when we're really training heavy, when we've got the hypertrophy going big time in our training session, it may not be your favorite training style. And I totally understand that. I, I get it. But I want you to know, do not skip these days. These days are going to help you make leaps and bounds in your training. No joke, it's where the strength comes in, it's where you see that definition, and it makes a huge difference. Last one, I just wanted to put that out there. Rest it out, because I know it's getting tough right now. And you're like, three sets, really? Why are we doing this? We're doing this because we're gonna get strong. We're going heavy, you got this. So come with me, come on. We're going, reverse lunge or that squat mod. Here we go, step it back. And down, good. This training also will help you get stronger. Like let's say if you like doing the, the no repeat workouts, I'm all about those. Those are fun, they push you. But if you are not training with hypertrophy to get stronger as well, you will not improve in those workouts either. So this is gonna help not only with that strength, but in other workouts that we do as well. So just keep that in mind. Here's three, two, one. Chest press. Breathing, chest press into skull crusher. We get 30 seconds, we hit round three. And then we're on that home stretch. Five seconds out, roll it back. Going in three, two, and one. Let's press. Straight out of the gate, check those wrists. First set up, check it out. Down and up. If you find your wrists are bending, make sure the dumbbell is towards the heel of your hand. So you don't need to be gripping it with your fingers, trying to keep it into the middle of your palm. It's back farther and then those fingers just wrap around the bar for extra control. Down, Whew. and press. And breathe, good. Here we are, three, two, and one. Dumbbells off to the side. Skull crushers, last set, then we get 30, and then we mix up our exercises. Ooh, bring it back. All right, let's push it up. Wrist straight right away. Think about punching the ceiling from here. Arms in narrow, and let's go. Bend at just the elbow. Exhale, press back up. Can you see the shake in the arm? <laughs> Is your arm or arms shaken? Whew, we got it. Breathing, almost there. This type of strength training too is awesome to keep that metabolism up after the workout because your body has to work to build those muscles back up, help you recover here. Last press, three, two, and one. Whew. So another thing, just keep it in mind. All right, we're moving on. Bringing it up, four exercises. Sumo deadlift, we're gonna bring it back to the mat for glute bridge. Then we've got a narrow row followed by bicep curls. So get that heavy dumbbell, one heavy, I like to use one heavy dumbbell for our sumo deadlift. So grab that and let's get ready. 
All right, so legs out. You're gonna start at the bottom of this move here. Legs out, starting at the bottom, hinge at the hips, bend at the knees. We go in three, two, one. Whew. Bring it up, down, back flat, core engaged. Now, different from a Romanian deadlift or our RDL, the sumo deadlift, push that floor away, drive the hips back, bend at the knee, back comes flat, and up. I like to kind of do a little pop here with my weight on the ground. Again, just to keep myself consistent with that lower. Almost there. We're gonna move quickly, go into glute bridge here in three, two, and one. Nice, all right. Glute bridge, grab your dumbbells. Three seconds out, here's two and one. Let's go, lift it, squeeze the glutes, drop it down and up. Think about making a straight line with your back from the shoulders where they're on the floor up to your knees. So you've got that straight line and down, good. So you don't wanna over arch your back to try to get your hips up. You wanna drive the hips up, but you don't wanna over arch your back. And then when we come back down to the floor, keeping that back flat and up. Narrow row is next. We've got three, two, one. Bring it up quickly, narrow row. You can use one dumbbell holding onto that bar or two, keeping those dumbbells right next to each other. I'm gonna use one. Back flat, core engaged, hinged at the hips. We go in three, two, and one. So row it up, keep that dumbbell close to your chest and down. As you roll up, think about squeezing those arms around your body as you pull. So squeeze. Exhale, hold it for a second at the top, down all the way, squeeze all the way up. Breathing. Ooh. One of my favorite exercises next, bicep curls. 10 seconds out. Here we are, three, two, one. Nice. All right, bicep curls. Grab those heavy weights. Shoulders rolled down and back. Five seconds and we go. Stella looks so comfortable. <laughs> three, two, and one, here we go. Now, especially when you're lifting heavy, one thing, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see, don't do this. No, no swinging, no hip thrusting to get the weights up. It's control. It's all in the bicep, so keep those arms nice and tight here. Elbows back towards your side. Down and squeeze, contract the bicep control it down. When you start to swing, it takes a lot out of that bicep muscle. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Sumo deadlift is going to be next. So get that heavy dumbbell. Remember, we're going to start at the bottom. Hinge at the hips, bend at the knee, back is flat. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Make sure as you come down, those shoulders are not rounding. Keep that chest up, back strong. Breathing. I like to use one heavy dumbbell in the middle because for me, it mimics a regular barbell a little bit easier, and that helps me keep the best form in that position when I think about just having that one bar in front of me. So that's why I use one dumbbell. You can use two. Again, this is your training. 
So you make it work for you. Here's three, two, one. Glute bridge. Bring it down. Get those dumbbells. Get ready. Moving quick here. Already through the second set. Six sets left. Well, seven if we're counting this one. We go in three, two, and a one. Here we go. Lift it and squeeze. And up. Good. Weight stays in the heels. Make sure you're exhaling as you drive those hips up. Good, down and squeeze, almost there. 10 seconds, we move it to that narrow row. Here's three, two, and one. Now remember, you always have that option to go heavier. <laughs> so don't forget that as we're getting ready to finish this workout out. Narrow row, one or two dumbbells, bring it up. And if you have those two dumbbells, keep those dumbbells glued together to keep that narrow position. Back flat, core engaged, let's go. Squeeze, down and squeeze, exhale. Keep everything nice and tight here. And when I say nice and tight, I mean keep those arms squeezing tight around that body as you lift and down. And then you think about those shoulder blades right here, squeezing around that spine and down. Almost there, bicep curls next. Here's three. Two, one, awesome, grab your weights. Four bicep curls. Shoulders rolled down and back. Three, two, and one, here we go. With all of my workouts, I wanna give you a workout that's gonna train you efficiently, but I wanna talk you through it to make sure you've got the form, to give you different variations. That's just for your toolbox. So you have all the tools you need so that you're learning. Now, you're not only getting stronger during our workouts, but you're also learning in that way too. Because if you just go through the motions, you just show up for the workouts, but yet you have no idea why we're doing this, what can help, what this or that, it's not gonna, it's not gonna help you as much as it could. Last three, two, one. We have made it. It's the final countdown. That's what I feel like anyways, because we have four exercises. Sumo deadlift is first. This is why I like to work out and not sing, because I can't sing. <laughs> you just found that out, huh? <laughs> Down, start at the bottom. Sumo deadlift in three, two, and one, here we go. Last time through for these. So make it count. But yeah, my goal for these is always when we finish a workout, you're like, oh, I didn't know that. That helped during this workout. Or, oh, I'm gonna make sure I keep my wrist straight. Or maybe during the day, you're like, oh, my posture is getting stronger. I can feel this. That's the goal. As always, it's stronger in here so we can be stronger in life. <gasps> Remember that glute bridge is coming up quick. We've got three. Here's two. Come on, finish strong. And one. Nice. Ooh, glute bridge. Roll it on your back. Get your dumbbells. Here we are in three, two, and one. Lift and squeeze. Weight stays in the heels. Make sure those knees are in line with your toes as well. So you don't want, especially as you start to get tired here, these muscles are fatiguing. Don't let your 
knees fall out to the side or even in. That's gonna cause extra pressure and strain on the knees and we do not want that. Up and down, good. Come on, push it out. Two upper body exercises remain. Here's three, two, and a one. Narrow row, bring it up, get your dumbbell. We are gonna feel good after this. Bring it up, clasp those hands around, back flat, core engaged, and let's begin. You remember, take your time here. as you squeeze those shoulder blades around spine. Oh, almost there. Come on, just about 10 to go. Here we are, three, two, one. I'm gonna get a little crazy. I'm gonna, I, I'm feeling it. I'm gonna try to go up in weight for my bicep curls. If you got it, go for it. You can always go down, but if you don't try, you're never gonna know. Oh, oh, oh. Going in three, two, one. Come on. Oh. One thing with weight training. After about, mm, kind of depends on the muscle group. But after several weeks, you gotta start, try to start challenging yourself to increase that weight. Because if you just stick with the same weight, day in and day out, or the same reps, day in and day out, then you're gonna get stuck on that plateau. So you've gotta continue to change, continue to challenge yourself. It's a process though. It's not like one exercise or one, one day and you can move up. You gotta be consistent. We're almost there, and I never would have known that I could do this unless I tried today. Here's three, two, and one. Hit failure on the last one. I am so proud of you. That was not easy, that was so tough, but you are too, you are the bomb. Dessert is gonna be so tasty after that. Dessert is the stretch, by the way. I love you. Thank you for joining me. Have an amazing day, have an amazing stretch, and I will see you very soon.